the three rebel queens of the Firebird. In 1807, the Slave Trade Act was passed, which prohibited slavery within the British Empire. This was the first legal document that eventually led to the abolishment of slavery. The act specifically prohibited the transportation of enslaved Africans within the British Empire. In 1833, the Slavery Abolition Act was passed, which made slavery illegal within the British Empire. Though the acts were passed, a system of apprenticeship was created for all enslaved people over the age of six. The apprentices were still enslaved and used as a labor force for the enslavers. The apprenticeships were officially ended in 1848, granting the enslaved Africans a brief moment of freedom. The apprenticeships came to an end as a result of the continued protests by the enslaved African people in the Danish West Indies. After the enslaved Africans were freed, they were forced to sign contracts that basically re-enslaved them to the plantations they were previously bound to. Protests grew on the island of St. Croix on October 1st of 1878 or contract day as the African people gathered to protest the horrible working conditions they were forced to endure. Frederickstead was the site of the protest on the island of St. Croix. The gathering began as a peaceful protest against the inhumane treatment the African people faced. Soon rumors of an African person being critically injured or killed by a Danish soldier spread quickly, leading to the African people throwing stones at the soldiers. The soldiers opened fire upon the Africans before fencing themselves in a fort for protection. The Africans attempted to take over the fort, but were unsuccessful, so they began taking over and burning down around 50 plantations, homes, businesses, and more. Queen Mary, Queen Agnes, and Queen Matilda were three of the leaders of the rebellion. The rebellion was known as the Fireburn because the queens helped to burn down more than half of the city of Frederickstead. The three queens inspired their fellow African people to gain their freedom by any means. The Danish fought the African people for two weeks to suppress the rebellion. The African people fought long and hard behind the leadership of the three queens. Many lives were lost, but the rebels were able to burn over 900 acres of plantation land before the Danish were able to suppress the rebellion, killing over 100 Africans. The Danish quickly established a red court system designed to determine the fate of over 400 rebels who were captured. Of the 400 Africans captured, 12 of them were killed by a firing squad. 34 of them were sentenced to hard labor for an extended amount of time. Five of the rebels, including the three queens, were sentenced to a life of hard work in prison. A year after the rebellion, the Danish forced the African people to sign new contracts that did not improve the working conditions for the Africans. The contracts were created to be in favor of the Danish. In 1882, Queen Mary was around the age of 40 when she was shipped to a prison in Copenhagen before being sent to Christiansted to serve her prison sentence until her death. Queen Mary was the most well-known of the three queens. She is said to be linked to every rebellion on the island of St. Croix was adamant about the rebels being committed to gaining their freedom. There isn't much information about Queen Matilda and Queen Agnes. We do know Queen Matilda was only 21 years old when she joined the rebellion. She along with Queen Mary was the mother of three children. In 2005, the memory of the queens was captured in the form of a memorial fountain called the Three Queens Fountain that overlooked Charlotte and Miley City on the island of St. Thomas. These three remarkable women valued their lives, their freedom, and their people. They were willing to leave their families to fight for their freedom and the freedom of their people. To the rebel queens of the Fireburn, Queen Mary, Queen Matilda, and Queen Agnes, we proudly stand on your shoulders. For more information, please visit www.ontheshoulders1.com and you can support On the Shoulders of Giants on Patreon at patreon.com backslash O-T-S-O-G.